Welcome everybody to Plague Inc. Evolved. Aw oh man, we've been wanting to do videos on this for so long since we saw it on PC. I have it for Steam, unfortunately, since my computer broke. Well, you know. So, this is actually starting completely new. I have been playing on Frenderman's uh, particular profile, but I wanted to save actually getting into it for here. And we're not going to go for anything too hard, but we're not going to go for anything too easy. What do you think? Oh, I, oh, I forgot to actually name it. Alright, had a little bit of a hiccup, but we're going to restart this. And this time I am not going to do the suck. <laughs> Titty Sprinkles. At least try. Titty Sprinkles begins in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Shout out to Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Titty sprinkles. Alright, um, so this time I'm not going to be devolving things before I evolve to kill, because that's what kind of fucked me over. <sighs> but we're going to go here first. And next here. And then the next thing we're going to be hitting up is um, hot, which is how many? 11. Just let me know when I have 11. You got it. Do oh, I thought you actually meant that I had 11. No. You tricked me. Titty sprinkles infects hundreds. Titty sprinkles spreads to Madagascar. <laughs> I fucking love it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hey, hey. alright. Heat. This makes it so that it spreads faster in arid climates. Titty sprinkles infects thousands. Titty sprinkles has infected thousands in Saudi Arabia. People are being infected faster and faster. <laughs> I'm amused by childish things. Twelve. Titty sprinkles infecting more countries. All right, so infect more countries. There we go. Give me all the titty sprinkles. Oh, damn. Did I already get Greenland? Probably. Oh, no. It's this little area up here. All right, so we want that. And then we want to make sure drug resistance. Because otherwise, America stops the flow of the disease a little bit more. Alright, this is going leagues better than before. Alright, we want cold too. For some reason, I don't necessarily think that, like... Okay, I was gonna actually mutate that anyway. Or, I was gonna do that anyway, so I'm gonna just leave that one alone. Coughing is about the safest bet that you can do for a first symptom. You just have to make sure that you get all the rest of them taken care of. Because coughing always leads into pneumonia. And pneumonia will get you noticed. Alright, what am I looking for? Or what am I looking like? You have 20 DNA points. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these. And make sure. Alright, what do we want? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get that. I've already got these. And now the next two things that I want to start working on is this and this. So, when I get 16, let me know. You're at 19. Awesome. Alright. Oh, well, well. Wait, did that go up? I could have sworn that one was the 17 one. Oh, well, now I need 17. Be my eyes, Frenderman. You're at 29. Sweet. Alright, evolve. I'm gonna leave that alone for now. Ugh. I had that thing where I just kind of felt like I ran out of breath. Yep. 46. Bio aerosol. Uh, we want to make sure that... Uh, we don't want to spread ev... Oh, no, no. Don't want to spend everything. Like, the minimum amount is always the best amount. But, you know... 
obviously we want to get this all under our belt sooner rather than later. Oh, Russia's eating shit, man. Like always. <laughs> You're at 32 now. Alright, um, I'm not gonna do this. Like, this is, I can usually win without that. Uh, I kind of don't want to do this one, but... You know, I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Oh my god, look at that. Goodbye, Greenland. And South America just got blown away. I uh, kind of don't want... Like, uh, I know it's actually pretty important to, like evolve a few symptoms that can spread stuff, but too many of them get you noticed too fast. I can I can win it with coughing first. Titty Sprinkles needs to evolve to kill. That really should be a bumper sticker. <laughs> you have 89 points. Oh man. All right. We're just gonna let it build for now, and we're gonna wait till there's no more inf uh, no more people to be infected, and then we are going to blitzkrieg the world. Look at that! Ah, oh, turn red, bitch. You're up to ninety points. Oh, it's so close to the end. I'm tempted to just leave that one alone, but nah. There's a very specific path that you can go that... There we go. There's a very specific path that you can go that pretty much... I mean, unless you really get unlucky, will guarantee that everybody dies in a timely manner. And that is... Let's see. Pneumonia. Pulmonary fibrosis. Total organ failure. Yeah. And then we want... We actually want to work our way up to insanity, but we don't want to use everything right now. So, I'm going to leave it at this for a second. Alright, now let's just watch the mayhem. New minor disease is spreading. First death in Turkey from titty sprinkles. Can you imagine, like, the CDC coming out and be like, we have to inform you that we found a new disease. We're naming it titty sprinkles. Titty Sprinkles has killed more than the Spanish flu. And see, that's going to be scary because you know the CDC has just given absolutely zero fucks about it. <laughs> killed more than smallpox. Oh, well, aren't you busy, little beavers? Let's just stop that right now. Uh, all right. Now we want to make sure we get... Uh, all right. Let's not derp this up extra hard this time. Devolve. Devolve. Alright. Same thing here. With viruses, you can't do this. This isn't, like, a viable option. Because <laughs> it costs every time you want to devolve something. Alright, then. Um, looks like that gives us 24. Yep. Alright. And you see what happens now? Like, basically, those points start shooting up. Once people start dying, like, it is... Pff, it's game over. Alright, now we want to start working our way up to insanity. Because that actually slows research by a substantial amount. And now look at that. Titty sprinkles placed on watch list. Yeah, yeah, stop the cure, we know. You, you people cannot cure me fast enough. There is no cure for titty sprinkles. Hooray! <laughs> 47 points. Alright, now everything else is just gratuitous. We're gonna give him that. Uh, we'll give him some hemophilia. And I'm going to play a game within a game. I like to see who the holdouts are. I like to see, once we're down to the last thousand or so, which is the place that actually had the healthy people left. Or maybe not healthy people, but the not dead people. But now look, the cure is basically halted in its tracks. 
We're not going to be getting any more points aside from bubbles. Um, the cure is probably never going to go up. Let's see what they're... Let's see. The cure status is 38 years, 252 days until completion. Damn. I'm rooting for you, humanity. I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm not either, but I mean, you gotta kind of give them something, right? No. Yeah, true. All right, we're down to seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We got to be particularly quick on this because those last people just drop like flies. Titty Sprinkles to eradicate humans. Titty Sprinkles has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans are dying in holes with no chance of survival. All right. Get it as close to the bottom as possible. Come on. Russia! Congratulations, yeah. Russia. You are the last to die to titty sprinkles. And now the Walking Dead combo comes up. For fuck's sake. And there we go. First stage. Sprinkles has successfully eliminated all life on Earth, as, as I knew it would. Yep, I mean, when you have a disease called titty sprinkles, how can you not die to it? But that is the bacteria stage, uh, at least on, what was this, normal? I know it yeah. wasn't casual. No, that was normal. At 960 days. Wow. The cure prog- I could have done better with the cure progress, I think. Um, difficulty, normal. Awesome! I mean, I got a mediocre score, but, you know. I think that was pretty good. I certainly enjoyed it. ATP boost gene. And I've unlocked the virus. And I actually have to do these on normal if I want to unlock all the rest of them. Because the plagues don't unlock unless you do them on uh, normal. Huh. So, and me... we'll just progressively go down the list. Yep. Well, I'm not sure, like, sh maybe we should do a video for each of them, and then we'll start doing some of the, um, official scenarios. Because some of the official scenarios are pretty fun. Yeah. Um, well, not just official scenarios. You know, I've actually never been able to finish that one, the artificial organs. Huh. That one is amazingly hard to me. Uh, but the custom scenarios is what I was thinking of. The custom scenarios can be pretty hit or miss, though. I mean, it's basically just the same thing repackaged with different packaging. But I think that that's going to be about it for this episode. For a good first episode, even though I derped it up pretty fucking hard in the beginning. Yeah, but you always do. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it to derp out on me the way it did when I was trying to devolve it. But I'm going to do some grinding off camera. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, you know, just work on bacteria for a bit. Unlock the rest of these genes. Because really, some of these you can't do without genes. Or at least it's much harder to do. So, thank you for joining us. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. As always, like and subscribe. And, hopefully, we'll see you again in the next episode. And check out the rest of our videos if you like them. And have fun. And Bush Baby loves you. I can't wait to fucking murder every... Oh, I'm still recording. The mic's still on. The mic's still on!